Hello all, how are yous? Just to uh, thank you for joining me on this video here. I've just just we're going to unbox a new plane that I'm going to start building. Um, I haven't fully decided exactly uh, the direction I want to take with this plane, but I thought I'll um, get it out of the box and we'll just have a check and see what's um, what's in it. I've been wanting one of these for quite some time. I was planning on getting the Grand Tundra though, but um, it's amazing how big something is. Um, you, you need the storage, so my next step is to make a bit of a storage rack for um, some of my planes. Um, so yeah, the Grand. Uh, this is a version two uh, Tundra. It's uh, it's a it's a little brother. It's it's still fairly big. It's got a a 1.3 meter wingspan. Um, comes with uh, full flaps, rudder, ailerons, wheels, uh, also comes with floats. So this could be a bit of fun when we go camping and I'll probably take that uh, to the water and give that a go. Now the specs on this, uh, like I said it's got a 1.3 wingspan, it's 920mm long uh flying weight of 1150 grams it comes with an aerostar 40 amp esc motors a 900 kv brushless outrunner uh, comes with a 12 by 6 carbon fiber prop which is quite nice um, you've got to supply your own battery and radio systems tx and rx so the wheel package there for the tundra the foam wheels, the back wheel, the rudder wheel is um, is rubber. Um, the floats that come with it, the version I got is the green one that you see on the box here. And if you live in the ski fields, uh, you've got the option there for optional skis which you have to buy separately. So yeah, this is the um, version 2 Tundra 1300 wingspan. So in the box, in the box here, this is a hardware for the landing gear, and it also um, allows you to customize for uh, FPV. It's a it's a little platform that goes in replace of the um, the windshield, which I'll show you a bit later. Now you got your carbon fiber prop in there, good size prop in it, and all the other hardware. That's also on the bottom of the of the box. So if you do get this and you open the box up, this will fall off onto the floor. So just be aware of that. It's situated under underneath. So here's your floats. I've got some floats here sitting on top. A couple of wheels, good size wheels on it. I'd hate to. S I'd love to see the. Um, Grand Tundra, that would be a monster. In some ways I'm glad I didn't get it, but I really, really wanted that one though, because of the size of it. But yeah, this is a good size still. So we've got our wheels. And our rudder pieces. wings here so we've got flaps on this and aileron there's your flaps so you can set that up to a couple of stages there servos are built in I'm not sure whether they're metal gear or what they are I think they may be metal gear so these are all got to be connected up and the body it's a decent size it's certainly not small by any means I'll get this box away and we'll have another look. Now oh, here's a spar as well for your for your wings. It looks like it's about a 10 mil spar by the look of that. So a couple of other little pieces we've got here. I'm not too sure what this little piece is just yet. Um, there's your your rudder wheel. So that's a rubber wheel. Got some little screwdrivers in there, Velcro screws and all your linkages for your servos are in here all right so your little hatches you've got here you've got a hatch at the top here so 
sorry, got a hatch here, your window hatch. This is this can be replaced. This can be replaced with the um, optional timber hardware here, which you make up. And I guess you can you can fit a head tracker and your FPV gear. I'll probably end up going that way with it. I have thought about even setting this one up with a head tracking unit, since I have one spare sitting here. Um, you've got your ESC down there. It's your Aerostar. Aerostar 40 amp ESC. More servo cables down there, and your your motor up the front, which you can't quite get to. So I'm not sure how to tighten the tighten the prop up. That could be a bit of fun when that time comes. But we'll work that out, I guess. You got another little hatch up the back here to get into your servos. And you can see down there, there's your servos working with all the linkages already installed for your rudder. And a couple of cables as well. So yeah, I'm not too sure exactly which way I'm going to go with this plane. I think uh, I'm going to tend towards putting a FPV unit on the front here. I'll run a probably long range receiver in it as well. Not that I probably will take it long range, but I definitely want to fly it FPV and probably with a head tracking unit so I can experience that side of things. Seems to look like it clips together pretty easily. Um, I'll start on the build as soon as I can make a bit of storage spot, bit of a bit of storage space for some of my other planes first. Um, so I've got somewhere to put this because this will be undoubtedly probably the most bulkiest plane I've got in my fleet. So yeah stay tuned for the build video that'll be coming up and I'm looking forward to this when I get around to it. Thanks guys for watching and see you in the next video.